Oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. Um, hey, what's up? It's Julian, and I'm back today with another episode of Produce With Me. So I have not done an episode for this series in a while. Um, basically what Produce With Me is, is I go out, record some sounds, and then I take it back to Ableton and come up with some cool stuff with it. And kind of show you the whole process, so you can kind of see things a little bit deeper than just like, I make an 8-bar loop. And then I show you how I did that, if that makes any sense. But yeah, so today I'm going to be making some house music using some house sounds. So a bit of a gimmicky concept, but what I'm going to be doing is going around my house, recording a bunch of sounds, and then I'm going to try to make a house track out of it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say. Let's get started with the sounds. Alright, so, as you can see, I'm back in the studio, and I've got all the sounds in front of me that we just recorded. And, I'm gonna be turning these into a track, and I think this is also a good time to say that I'm gonna have these in the description, so if you want these samples, as well as the project file and everything that I make in this video, you can get that in the description, like I said, and if you're patient on my Patreon, check there, because it'll be available. And yeah, let's get started. So, like I said, we're gonna do some house music here, so let's go to, like, 120 um and the first thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to try to make a kick so there's this recording of me hitting a bunch of like i think it was just like my trash can or something um but i'm going to take that and we can try and turn that into something here Let me add some effects here. Nice. I like having the percussion where you have it kind of like on the upbeat like that. But with the 16th note echo, it gives it kind of a cool groove. And you can also see with this that, like, if you, look, if you listen to this sample, it has that little thing, like, going into it. Like, this part of the waveform that I'm sort of highlighting there is, like, the actual hit. You can hear there's that little, like, sound at the start there as well. And so we're kind of playing with that, like... You can see it's not right on time, but that's cool. It gives it kind of an interesting sort of feel. So maybe we can come up with some more percussion here. Nice, I like the saturator on the shaker. It helps to make it kind of more like crispy sounding. And then let's get like one more thing here. I like that little... That sound. Maybe I can make that into like a clap of some sort. Thank you. 
cool. This is sounding pretty good. So I filled up the drums a little bit more. Like we've got, so we've got like this thing I made earlier. I've got the scraping snow sample, which I took. And you can hear, I've kind of made this like background percussion loop with this. For, in order for this to make sense, you kind of have to hear it with like the other drums. You can hear when I turn that off, it sounds a lot less organic. So this is just kind of adding that nice, like, background kind of percussion stuff. And it's not too crazy. I think I'll EQ it a little bit. I have this EQ here. Let's put out some low end. But yeah, I've got that. And then we've got this little hi-hat that I made with the shower sample. Pretty simple there. We've got that shaker. And then I've got the clap. Yeah, it sounds really cool when you play it, like, really low. It has, like, an interesting rhythm to it. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. So basically what I've done here is I've just taken, like I said, the sample of these glasses. There's the original. And then I'm just playing it, like, really low. Like, this is playing G0. So, yeah. And then I'm just getting some echo on it. And then I've got a side chain to the cake, and I'm cutting out the line. But this is kind of like a cool layer, I feel like. It adds something kind of interesting to the groove. Cool. So next, I feel like we need to sort of establish a baseline. We can try some like FM kind of stuff. The sound I'm hearing in my head is more of like a bass guitar type of sound. Like maybe we could get amp. It's got that kind of like tonality to it, but then I also added this amp and then this cabinet here, so it's kind of simulating like a bass guitar amp. And you can hear that really helps it as well. And then I just have a side chain to the kick, but yeah, I really like how this is sounding. Cool, so I feel like we need some kind of like higher melodic stuff now, like maybe some kind of an ARP. Let me try something. Our sounds pretty cool. I'll show you the notes we've got going here. It's playing this thing in F minor, just like the bass line. Obviously, that's the key of the track. Um, you see, like, it's just kind of notes from F minor. Like, we've got F, then G sharp, then C, then, yeah, another C up there. Nothing really crazy. The only thing here is you can see it's actually a sort of, like, half a bar pattern. But then it's, well, it's really a full bar, but it's, like, the same thing two times, but there's a little bit of a different ending. So, basically, the first time... You can hear it ends on those two notes, and then the second time, it ends on those two. So it's kind of a nice way to have like a repetitive pattern like this, but still make it 
you know, a little bit more interesting. And then with analog, I've also gone in and just kind of dialed in the sound. It's just one saw wave, and it's going into a low pass filter with a bit of an envelope on it. There was this vacuum recording that I did. And it's literally just a bunch of noise, but I feel like it would sound pretty cool if we put it in here. Um, let's turn off, or let's turn off the release and then turn up this amp envelope. And then if we kind of... Yeah, see, that's got kind of a cool texture to it. It's a lot, but I think it'll fit into the mix pretty well. So let's just put in like one note of that. And then I'm going to copy over this side chain from this other sound. And let's get this EQ8 as well. So as you've seen, I've gone back in, done a bit of mixing, and just kind of worked on everything, and got it sounding pretty tight. Here's what we ended up with. So yeah, sounds pretty cool. This was a pretty interesting little experiment. Um, I'll give you a quick rundown of all the sounds. Like I said, this first one here is a kick. You guys saw me make this, it's just a simple kind of like hitting things sample and then I put it through a filter with an envelope as well as an amplitude envelope, I've kind of shortened it a little bit and I also added the pinch envelope, so a lot of envelopes and then I've got the drum bus as well which is kind of making it hit a bit harder and then we've got the percussion group here which has all these little percussion sounds that you heard me make um, I did do a few extra things, like I've added this little clap here I guess it's like a percussion snare, whatever you want to call it, but that's what's in there. And then this, which was the, the clap before that, that little sound is just playing on kind of like more of a percussion now. Then we've got the sample of the glasses, which is being pitched down and it's got all the echo on it. And then we've got the granulated noise as well. And that bass line. And the arc that we made. And this, I did shorten a little bit, I think. I turned down the decay on the filter. Or on the filter envelope. Just kind of makes it a bit tighter. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, I just wanted to show you guys kind of like me going in and just recording some sounds. And making everything using those sounds. I didn't actually think I was going to use them as much as I did. I mean, I guess I used some synths here. But I thought this was going to be a lot more synth. So this was kind of an interesting experiment. Even for me, just kind of seeing what is possible so that's pretty much it for this one i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of produce with me let me know what you want to see me do next time in the comments and let me know if you enjoyed this one as well in the comments make sure to like this video as well as subscribe 
and you can get the project file and samples and everything that I recorded and made in this video in the description so make sure to check that out if you're a patron on my patreon check there because it'll be available check out all my social media it's on the screen right now and yeah thank you so much everybody and i will see you again very shortly with another video